YouTube, what's up? It's your boy QZ. Welcome back to the Phasmophobia Equipment Series, baby. In this episode, we are covering the video camera. Alrighty. Ooh, I just touched the door somewhere. Okay, so we are on Tanglewood, as per usual with the series, and we are covering the video cam. Here we have the tier one, the bony video cam, not Sony, because copyright, but uh, the bony video cam. And as you can see, uh, if you've watched, or if you've even played phasmo um you know that this is the one that you start out with and within good reason because it's complete doo-doo look at the size of this screen dude it's so bad it's so tiny and it's green okay you can't really you can't see anything whatsoever so uh with that said i'm gonna go ahead and just get the tier two here but before i do let me uh educate you on how to turn on night vision so when you first walk out the trailer if you have the camera in your hand it automatically turns on but it's going to be in regular vision so to turn on night vision you just have to press your uh keybind that you would use to turn on whatever piece of equipment is in your hand so for me it's my right click i think that's what it is across the board but in case it's not for me it's your right click but if it's not it's whatever the use keybind is i believe so yeah so uh let's get rid of this stinky thing and uh talk about the ghosts that require ghost orbs which is what this video cam is useful for it's for finding ghost orbs but you can also use it to pick up things like the gorio dots i touched on that in the dots projector episode um that you can check out uh down below all right all righty so don't don't be confused you're still on the correct video we're still covering the video cam but i thought it'd be a good idea to grab a tripod so that well that's creepy um so that i can show you how to put the tri or the video cam on the tripod this works across the board so just because it's a tier two don't don't be nervous that i messed the tier one it's the same across the board all right so first and foremost this is the tier two baby look at how much of a bigger screen you get just already right so that's enough of a reason to level up secondly the night vision is white phosphorus instead of green phosphorus and that to me in my opinion is so much more clean and it's not as staticky looking it's just so much better dude and i'm gonna check on oh, see there's some ghost orbs and speaking of ghost orbs, let's talk about the ghosts that give you ghost orbs. But before we do that, I'll go ahead and give you a quick rundown on how to place your camera on a tripod as well as on a flat surface. So if you have a tripod, you can walk up to it with the camera in your hand, hold your place button. You can place it like that. All right. And then you can run out to the truck. And if you have the tier two tripod and above on the screen, you actually can rotate the tripod. But in our case, um, we don't really care about that because we're not a little truck wookie. Um, so we're actually gonna say, fuck that and actually have it in our hand. However, if you wanna place it on a flat surface or you think like I do and think that the tripod is the most useless thing in the game, um, you can uh, just set it on a flat surface and do the same thing like you do your dots projector and uh, the other placeable items, which we'll cover further in this series and just do that and same thing run out to the truck check the screen and you're fine you just can't rotate it uh, but let's talk about while we're watching the ghost orbs here let's talk about all the ghosts that require ghost orbs now there's one that is not going to show up on this list right here and it is the mimic because the mimic already has spirit box freezing and uv as its hard evidence but even in the journal the mimic here says that several reports have noted ghost orb sightings near mimic so it will 100 percent have ghost orbs it just won't show up whenever you select it in the journal so be be weary of that because sometimes i've been tripped up by a ghost that has uh ghost orbs but it's none of these or i'll get like four pieces of evidence if i'm playing professional the mimic is the only ghost that will always have ghost orbs and it, it is the only ghost that has four evidences it's just that ghost orbs is unofficial all right but everything else is pretty straightforward uh the only thing you got to know evidence wise with the video cam is as i said in the dots projector episode in case you haven't uh watched that or don't want to i'll just go ahead and uh tell you it now so you use the video cam to see the gorio dots okay uh you have to be outside of the ghost room and looking at it through the video cam because it won't show up with your player's naked eye okay um and if you try to do it in the ghost room it won't work so it's better to have the video camera in your hand because if you see how big the screen is in your hand versus if I were to put it on a tripod and then pick it up, it's a little bit smaller. So it's a little bit just uh, harder to see. So that's why I recommend just putting it in your hand and just holding it. Uh, and plus, it's just so much faster. You don't have to sit. Think of how much time you save by just having the video cam in your hand 
And it already changed ghost rooms because that's the other thing about the ghost orbs is the ghost orbs will always be in the ghost room. And because we're not seeing ghost orbs anymore, we can know that the ghost has changed ghost rooms. But now we're not seeing them. So that's not the point of this video. But think of how much time you're saving by just holding your camera. And if you find ghost orbs, great. You're done. You can just put it down. But think of how much time you're wasting by setting up a tripod, putting the tri putting the camera on the tripod, going out to the truck, and then sitting for like 15 seconds to see if you even see ghost orbs. So anyways, that's the tier two, man. That's better than the tier one, but it is not the best. So what we're gonna do right now is we are for sure going to get the tier three, which in my opinion is the best of the best. And when you see the size of this thing, man, you'll understand why. Okay, so so as I said in the intro with the disclaimer, uh, I just got confirmation that uh, the the equipment change. Well, the quote update is coming in a, in a few weeks at the time of recording this video. So uh, this might just be a moot point and we might just have to start this whole series over again, but it's fine. Um, but dude, look at the size of this freaking camera. Channel One News reporting, uh, we have a, a dead body confirmed here in uh, 6 Tanglewood Avenue, uh, and it is a uh, comeback from the dead to try and haunt the, uh, the the house. So, dude, you got a freaking news camera here, man. It's it's wild. You've got a much bigger screen. This thing is just ginormous, all right? It's, it's just the best. It's the best. We got ghost orbs again. Interesting. Could be Mimic, but yeah. So tier three is the best, dude. Uh, really, really not much to talk about it uh, aside from um, just the bigger screen and just the bigger camera body in and of itself. You went from like home America's funniest home ghost videos to professional Zach Bagans looking ass tier equipment. OK, so get the tier three as fast as you can it, at the very least level up to get the tier two. OK, but in my opinion, Tier three is the best out of the video cam. So anyways, if you want to know how to level up really fast to get to at least the tier two, or maybe even you're feeling ballsy and go, excuse me. I don't have the key. Okay, well, we're going to go outside while I finish um, explaining what I'm talking about. But if you want to, no, I'm just kidding. We're going to turn, we're going to turn off the, the car here because that's really annoying. Anywho, if you want to learn how to level up really fast, to get to at least the tier three or the tier two, or maybe even you're feeling ballsy and want to get the tier three, right? Watch this video over here to watch my XP farm guide to see how you can get there really fast without using a single piece of equipment. Or if you want to keep going on this series, then tap this playlist somewhere on this screen and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Thanks for watching.